I built a quadcopter out of parts that I bought off Amazon. It flies. <laughs> well, I've actually kind of always wanted a quadcopter. I didn't really want to spend, you know, $900 or however much they can get. So in this class, it gave me a reason to build my own and the knowledge too, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty cool. If, you, if you'd put it in water, and give you a I host a, a tech talk show, so. Really it's kind of cool to have you on just to talk about your experience with building this thing. No, that so let's talk sometime. The final part of their grade comes from what you saw out here where they have to present their projects to everyone. Uh, we think that it's important for engineers to learn uh, skills of being able to explain their ideas and demonstrate their projects to the public and also salesmanship to be able to sell their ideas to, to people, which is a skill you need in the real world and only very rarely taught at engineering schools. But anyway, our philosophy is if they construct and build design projects in their freshman year, something unheard of else, elsewhere, when we start teaching them the detailed theory behind the electronics, they'll have a context for it. I've always taken apart things as I was a kid, uh, tried to figure out how they work, and I'm now going to these classes, I'm starting to figure, figure them out. It's kind of exciting. You know, meeting with all these engineers, it's nice to get your name out there. Nice to meet local engineers from around the state. I am absolutely proud of these guys. If you've gone around and looked at these things, it, isn't it, doesn't it blow you away, the stuff that they can do? If you let their creativity uh, have free reign, a lot of people have too much, their programs are too much structured. Okay, take this step A, now do step B, now do step C. And I think that what we did is with these electronics things, we bought every student a kit with electronics in it and gave them each the thing and said, it's yours. We say here, you own this, take it home to your, your dorm room or your house and work on it in your spare time if you want. And uh, we're going to teach you how every little component and things work, but you're going to invent your own ideas with it and come up with your own plans. And look at the creativity that you see this way. Or it measures the temperature and humidity in the air and displays it on the LCD here. That's your first two readings. Uh, and then the probe that's in the soil measures your soil moisture percentage. Uh, it actually reads the resistance in the soil and then outputs it into a percentage. And then based off of that percentage, it will light up an LED accordingly. Uh, if it gets red, that means you probably want to water your plant. Uh, some of the students will, will spend hours and hours and hours working on these things. One student actually stopped coming to my morning physics class because he was spending all night working on his drone project over there. I think he, he, he was doing very well in physics and still is, so uh, no problem. If you, if okay, so this is our safety first RC car. And so basically program this RC car so when it reaches a certain distance, it will cut power to the to the DC motor in here and it will prevent it from crashing into a wall or an object that's in front of it and so this is how it works and so now you can see the relay is turned on with the signified by the red LED and because of that the forward motion is turned off but there's a diode in place so current can reverse can go in the opposite direction so it still has the ability to move backwards and that is, that is our project. As long as they're uh, working hard and learning things, that's the important point. They're going to be the they're going to be the best engineers the state has to offer. First round draft picks for all these companies.